Hello, hi, good morning everyone. So today I'm making a video on how does exactly cancer happen in your body because this is the question which is widely asked by all the cancer patients that how did I get this cancer or why has this cancer chosen to occur in my body? So what are the various reasons for it which you should be knowing and you should understand them and if possible we can be able to prevent them or control them. So let's start with one or the other organ. So let's start uh, with the head and neck cancers that is all the cancers that occur in the neck and above in a human body so these cancers are usually referred to as head and neck cancers head and neck cancers uh, which are usually called as squamous cell carcinomas because the squamous epithelium is very commonly present anatomically in this area of the body so it is very common uh, to have squamous cell carcinomas in this area of the body so the various organs involved in this head and neck cancers include tongue which is a very commonest organ for having uh, cancer buccal mucosa that is your both sides of the cheek from inside the mouth the entire oral cavity the back of the oral cavity which is called as a oropharynx the back of the nasal cavity which is called as nasopharynx and back of your neck which is called as uh, laryngopharynx or which consists of the vocal cords from where we speak so these are the areas where the cancer commonly occurs and this is very very common especially in our country of india and the reason for that is we have a very heavy population that uses tobacco products which is in the form of chewing tobacco or smoking tobacco or consuming in the form of high amount of betel nuts chronically throughout their life so usually people who chew tobacco of any form or smoke for more than 20 to 30 years in their lifetime or at least five cigarettes per day for more than 10 years in their lifetime are very very highly susceptible for development of these head and neck cancers now why does this cancer basically happens why does tobacco cause cancers in the body because of a repeated trauma so tobacco usually causes a field effect so usually uh, you must have seen that the people who chew tobacco or use smoking they chew uh, only on repeatedly they chew on one side of the mouth so your mouth on that side gets repeated exposure to the tobacco products which is literally grittery kind of a substance which produces repeated trauma over there where ulcerations are formed and eventually when this trauma becomes again and again and again these ulcers will then then form into disorganized cell blocks over there which will lead to cancer so this is how by repeated trauma or repeated consumption of uh, tobacco leads to formation of cancer in these parts of the body then coming down let's go to the chest where we have the two major organs that is breast in females and lungs in both the sexes so as far as breast cancer is uh, concerned indians again they have a very high susceptibility for development of breast cancer now because of hormone exposure so the causative agents for breast cancer are many including use of tobacco alcohol sedentary lifestyle heavy breasts uh, uh, more exposure to hormones in the body that is early menarche and late menopause or having irregular menses these can also be some of the reasons or genetic reasons as well if your mom is suffering from breast cancer there is a very high chance that you could also have it in your lifetime by having some defective genes in the blood which could which can be detected today fortunately so these are one these are some of the reasons why you could have a breast cancer and again the reason for exactly development of breast cancer is not very known but these are some of the high risk factors that you should be careful about also the people who work in industrial setups which are repeatedly exposed to a lot of warmth a lot of heat are again uh, having a high susceptibility for development of breast cancer usually the breast cancer that is because of hormone related breast cancer occurs in the females who are more than 60 years of age but nowadays more and more we are seeing younger females who are having breast cancer so the younger females who have breast cancer are usually hereditary from which come under the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genetic defects which can be easily detected today and uh, the other reasons could be very very early menopause or nulliparity where the woman is not married where the woman has not had any children or a woman who's had children after the age of 35 so late pregnancy is basically a lot of problems during pregnancy uh, difficult uh, menstrual cycles these are the many reasons why by which hormonal reasons by which uh, uh, you are susceptible for to development of breast cancer and uh, then coming to lung cancer the various reasons are again smoking some form of tobacco which goes inside in the form of smokes again causes repeated trauma to the lung or some of the other forms which causes repeated formation of ulcers over there and when the ulcer does not heal by you know continuous use of tobacco again it leads to formation of cancers on a specific form in the specific parts of the lung wherein again 
there are multiple stages of lung cancer which can be associated so 70% of the patients who have been exposed to some kind of tobacco in their lifetime usually will develop lung cancer in their early uh, late uh, 60s and 70s but also people who have started smoking very early in their lifetime we are seeing more and more patients coming in the age of 45 to 50 who are developing lung cancer now as well then the other organs in the abdomen which includes the GI tract that is your stomach your esophagus your colon your rectum these are all basically from mouth to anus so these are all the parts which are very very susceptible for development of cancer again and the reason for this is excess consumption of spicy food which is very common in India again consumption of a lot of tea hot uh, hot um, uh, drinks in the form of tea or coffee so these are the reasons why there is again repeated formation of ulcers in the body which could lead to formation of cancer with a chronic use so um, uh, use of spices as less as possible is always better in your diet and re reduction in the consumption of hot tea is also a very very good thing you could go with today so there is some research that has shown that the use usefulness of coffee and green tea in the patients and uh, so a lot of people in the west especially the american and the european countries do not have a lot of gi cancers because their chronic use of coffee and green tea is high as compared to the asians and the gi cancers are very very high in us asians because we drink, eat a lot of spicy food we drink a lot of tea we drink a lot of uh, hot uh, beverages and this is the reason why we have, have a lot of gi cancers in us um, then coming to the organs like bladder uh, the penis or the ovary and all these organs which are located in the lower GI tract so all the organs have some or the other different kind of an etiology like all explained so all etiologies obviously cannot be described in a single video I'll be coming with other videos as well for the for the other organs but smoking tobacco drinking alcohol hot beverages hot substances excess spicy food sedentary lifestyle no good physical activity weight gain obesity these are the very very common factors that can lead to development of cancer sometime in your lifetime and cancer as we all know that it's going very rampant almost many people are suffering from cancer today and it's coming in the younger ages as well so be, please be protective of all these factors and try to avoid these factors as much as you can in your lifestyle bye bye